Although not confirmed by Naughty Dog themselves, it seems more and more likely that they are producing a remaster of The Last of Us Part 2. Rumours started around the same time as rumours of a Part 1 remake, which was of course true, and comments by composer Gustavo Santolala a while back seemed to confirm it. Mention of the project on a Naughty Dog employee's LinkedIn seems to be further confirmation that it's happening. But rather than whether the rumours are true, the main question in gamer discourse is, why? Why is this happening at all? Let's talk about that. The Last of Us Part 2 released in 2020, one of the last big releases of the PlayStation 4 right before the PS5 came out. Despite that, it looks near enough like a PS5 game, with the PS5 60fps patch improving its performance on the newer system. There is, frankly, very little to remaster. However, the same could be said of Ghost of Tsushima from the same year and even Death Stranding from the year before. Both got so-called director's cuts, which were in essence souped up PS5 ports which include any and all DLC as well as the new console's features such as ray tracing and haptic feedback. When Insomniac released Spider-Man Miles Morales, they gave us Spider-Man Remastered at the same time, which could as credibly have been called Spider-Man Director's Cut. From Naughty Dog, Uncharted 4 and Uncharted The Lost Legacy were bundled together for the Legacy of Thieves collection at the same, and the same sort of tune-up. But regardless of how many games have gotten this treatment, why do it? Isn't it better to focus on new games rather than give people the same game multiple times? Well, the Spider-Man remaster releasing alongside Spider-Man Miles Morales certainly shows that it's possible to do both. Naughty Dog, like Insomniac, has multiple teams working on various projects, and the Part 2 remaster, much like the Part 1 remake, would be the purview of a smaller team, whilst the bigger team is working on a new game. It just seems that new games will take longer as AAA development cycles, for better or worse, grow ever longer. But aside from that, as gamers we often develop a bad habit of assuming that everyone has played what we've played, and that a remake in 2023 is marketed only at the exact same people the original was marketed at in 2013. But whilst The Last of Us has sold over 37 million copies, 87 million people had a PS3, 117 million people have a PS4, and 41 million have a PS5. Even assuming a lot of overlap in those numbers, that's still a lot of people who have never played The Last of Us. And that's without getting into those who never owned a PlayStation at all, because of course the Part 1 remake led to a PC port. Spider-Man Remastered got the same treatment, as did the Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition, which though not a PS5 remaster was still a re-release boxing the DLC together with the main game. Although some games came to PC without a PS5 remaster first, or even before the PS5 version, the direction of travel is clear. For The Last of Us Part 2, bringing a PS5 version to PC rather than the PS4 version would make sense on several fronts, based off the Part 1 remake. The current patch delivered 60fps, but faster loading times and 4K resolution would be significant quality of life updates, whilst the remake's improved photo mode and speedrun mode are features that would be very welcome from certain parts of the community. That's without getting into the question of DLC like character skins or a proper story expansion, which seems unlikely to say the least. But even with this stuff, surely it's a cash grab. Way to charge us 60 or 70 dollars for something we already own? Well, not really. It's not a remake like part one, it's a remaster. So it would be at most a 10 dollar upgrade path for existing owners, like the Legacy of Thieves collection or any other remaster. You might have to pay full price if you don't own the game, but that would be the case for the PS4 version too, because that's how games work. If you don't own them, they cost money. There'll be plenty of gamers who don't want this remaster, and that's fine, there's no obligation to buy it. But the question of why it's happening, again assuming the rumours are true, is answered by Sony's strategy of wanting to bring popular titles to a wider player base. Through the PC ports, of course, or even through PS5 versions for people who never owned a PS4 or 3 and might be prompted to play the game for the first time by the new version. This doesn't stop new games being made, by Naughty Dog or by Sony in general, and helps widen the fan base of certain games. Again, it's fine to not personally want it or have an interest in it, but there is a very clear business rationale for it, and there's an audience who do want The Last of Us Part 2 on PC, or with improved performance on PS5. Speaking personally, I'm more eager for The Last of Us Part 3, or the multiplayer if it hasn't been cancelled or ruined by excessive monetization. but I'd absolutely take a Part 2 with the faster loading times of Part 1, with anything beyond that being a bonus. I'm sure for that I'll be called a PlayStation or Naughty Dog shill, 
even after my last video being all about how Sony's live server strategy was a problem, or condemning Naughty Dog Crunch even in a retrospective video that was broadly praising a part 2. But I don't see the value in misinformation as an excuse to get mad about a game existing, because I personally might not want it. Even if, through the nature of YouTube, that would have gotten me more clicks. I want to know what you think. Is a remaster of The Last of Us Part 2 something you're interested in, either for PS5 or PC? If not, what are you looking forward to from Naughty Dog or Sony? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and consider subscribing to keep up to date with all my content. Like the video that just popped up, which YouTube thinks you should watch next. This is a Patreon and member supported channel, so if you want to become a member and unlock custom badges and emojis, early access to my videos, and your name in the credits, then click the join button below. Thanks very much for watching, and see you next time!